Our next topic is methods of studying economics. Tell you economics is studied in two ways. First is deductive method. Second is inductive method. Let's see what deductive and inductive methods are. Now take a close look at these pictures. When you see a girl with spectacles, what do you infer? What do you conclude? Correct, that the girl is studious. And when you see a guy with funky hairstyle, sunglasses and glammed up clothes, what do you infer? He is not studious. So these are the generalizations that we draw. We have generalized that people with specs are studious and we apply these generalizations to individual examples. When we see a photo of a girl with spectacles, we say she is studious and a photo of a guy with funky hairstyle makes us believe that he is not studious. This is the deductive method of studying economics. This is very quick and in this method, we go from general to particular. We make a generalization like we did it. We did in this case. We said all people with spectacles generally are studious. So this was the notion. This was the perception that we had. This is the generalization that we used. All people with spectacles are studious. And then we took it in particular cases when we saw people with spectacles we said they are studious when we saw people with funky hairstyle not with spectacles we said they are not studious so what we are doing is we are taking generalizations and we are applying it on individual examples we are going from general to particular this is the deductive method now Let's take a look at inductive method. In this picture, you see a cow grazing. Next, a giraffe having leaves. And finally, a squirrel eating nuts. So, when I add up all these pictures, the conclusion I draw is all animals eat they need something to eat to survive. So if I show you a hippopotamus picture, will you infer that hippopotamus would also be eating? Yes, hippopotamus would also be eating. And this is the conclusion that I drew. My generalization was all the animals eat to survive. And my conclusion what? Hippopotamus must also be eating something to survive. Now what am I doing in this method? I am going on adding. I am going on including what all particular examples, all particular individual illustrations. And then I am drawing a conclusion. I am drawing a generalization. So I am going from particular to general. I am going on collecting and adding all individual examples. And then I am drawing a conclusion, a generalization from this. So this we call inductive method. Wherein we go on adding and we go from particular to general. This is the inductive method. Let's do a quick comparison of deductive and in inductive method. In deductive method, we take specific decision from general observation. Our general observation was people with specs are studious. So that is a general observation and then we apply it to particular instances. So, specific decisions are taken from general observation. 
we go from general observation to specific situations general to particular and how is inductive in inductive general decision general decision is taken after observing specific examples specific instances specific illustrations like we did when we saw a cow grazing when we saw a uh, giraffe having leaves and when we saw a squirrel having nuts we observe individual particular examples and then we drew a conclusion from it this is the inductive method of going from particular instances to general now please bear in mind that these two methods are complementary to each other they complete each other how in deductive method we go from in deductive method we go from general to particular and in inductive method we go from particular to general so in a way they become complementary to each other they complete each other in one method you are going from a generalization to a single instance and another you are collecting all particular instances and making a generalization out of it so it is a two way process and both are complementary to each other this completes our explanation on the methods of study now let's have a quick quiz on this